one of the things I wondered, Phil, if you could talk about is this the how to kind of use mindfulness with competitiveness or this desire to win. And I think, you know, working with Kobe and Michael Jordan, I mean, you've worked with probably two of the most competitive people that I know in the basketball arena and others. Um, how do you balance that energies out? Like, and, and I know there's a lot of parents out there that see competitiveness in their kids and they want to encourage it, but they also want to manage it. And, and I'm curious how you, how you navigate that terrain. Well, there's a, there's an instance that I can talk about that I think lends some light to what we're, we're saying. In the seventh game of a series against the Boston Celtics in the last championship that uh, I was part of, I think 2010 was that Celtic Laker championship run. And we have a seventh game. And Kobe was so geared up in that game that he was trying to do it all by himself. And he, as the game went on, I don't know if he was three for 14 at halftime. And uh, I think he ended up being like six for 25 or seven for 25 for the game, shooting wise. And nothing would fall. Nothing would go right for him. And he would come back to the bench and he'd be frustrated. And we'd say, just get in the system. All you have to do is just join the rest of the team, find your way into the system and be part of it. And things will start turning out right. We went down by 14 points at some point in the end of the third or beginning of the fourth quarter. And he has accepted it, that it wasn't going to be about his own desire, will, power, and exceptionalism. It was going to be about doing the thing together as a group and being part of the team and getting in the system. And he did that, and it led to the victory, which was close fun. 